thank you, Claudia, for hosting us again. We were so happy to be here. We're definitely excited to share updates. Uh, things have been going quite well on many, many fronts. 2020 was a pretty healthy year for Neo4j. We have accelerated our shift to the cloud and that's going well. Uh, we're now over 800 customers. We added 80 large brand name customers. We now have many, many customers who have relationships with us at the seven figure level. We see a lot of activity around our cloud service in Neo4j Aura and our portfolio of cloud offerings, as well as graph data science. So since we last spoke just about a year ago, 90 plus percent of the new customer deployments have been in the cloud. We're now many quarters into operating our own platform in a mission critical 24 by seven environment. And so that's helping to drive our, our organizational understanding and our technology evolution as well. We've got great traction around graph data science uh, and continue to see a lot of activity around graphs intersecting with artificial intelligence and machine learning. In November of 2020, we cracked into the top 20 most popular databases in the world. Our definition of a knowledge graph is one that makes data smarter by enriching it with semantics so that a user can reason about the underlying data. Data plus context gives you knowledge. If you have knowledge and you put it into a flat structure like a relational database, you get back that same knowledge. Data plus context plus graph gives you a knowledge graph. And when you throw it into a dynamic structure like a graph, you get a structure that's connected contextually to all of its neighbors. And then the neighbors are connected to their neighbors and so on and so forth. And the graph gets richer and richer as new information is added. The value of the graph grows exponentially all of our data science projects start with a knowledge graph. Analytics, data science, machine learning, and AI are all pushing the need for knowledge graphs, and knowledge graphs are being pulled along with that momentum. They really have the capability to make each of these disciplines much better, smarter, and more predictive. What's driving all of this excitement and interest for data scientists and for analysts, it's really because we have seen for years that relationships are very predictive of behavior. And that's why people want to use relationships in their data science, because they're predictive. But you can't predict what you can't see. You can't analyze what you can't see. So most data science workflows actually kind of ignore relationships because they're very hard to use. They get exponentially complex, and so it's hard to smash them down into a form that machine learning can use. So a lot of times they're tossed out, but with graphs, you don't have to guess at the correlations. You don't have to go find them. They're inherent in the data that you already have. And so using graphs in conjunction with data science, you can improve your predictions with the data that you already have and that helps a lot with the small data problems. We're 100% graph. We have the most graph algorithms um, supported of any vendor out there. We focus, live, and breathe this uh, area. We love it. We're the only commercial offering to do a full graph machine learning pipeline in a native graph space, so that's pretty exciting. We offer Neo4j Bloom, which is a tool that is meant to do exactly this type of exploration and make it easy. Anybody who's a newcomer to Neo4j is not only able to understand better what they're doing with their graphs, but they're also able to communicate that better to their peers and for them to get the graph aha moment and really believe in what it is that graphs do best. In fact, we have heard from a lot of our customers now saying that, hey, we picked Neo4j because you make it so easy. You have the entire end-to-end. -end. You have data science, you have visualization. We think those two go hand in hand and you have all of these things available in a package, we love it. What are the technology benefits? One is performance at scale, we talked about this, and the business impact there is, if something is hundreds or thousands of times faster, it's not just an optimization, new things become possible. The impact with flexible schema is better communication between IT and business, ability to evolve faster. I see that de-risking IT projects and accelerating time to market. On the language perspective, I think there's a pretty long-term uh, developer productivity impact there. And then hardware efficiency, this pointer chasing approach that I talked about is much less hardware intensive than grinding through lots of indexes in order to connect data. No other graph vendor actually offers the range of support that we do across the spectrum, especially when it comes to the decisioning or the data analytics use cases. 